Leftists are angry over HB2, a North Carolina bill that would, God forbid, require people to use public bathrooms that correspond with the gender they were born. Yeah, you're gonna open wide. You're gonna take your punishment. That's right, get ready. The bill doesn't force any private businesses to use the same rules. They can allow transgender people to use whichever bathroom they choose. Roughly 0.3% of the US population is transgender. So passing this bill may result in a tiny fraction of the population being somewhat embarrassed for a few minutes at having to use a bathroom that corresponds with their biological gender. Boo hoo! Now think about this. Transgender men who actually make the effort to look like women won't even get noticed if they use the women's bathroom anyway. The only people that this bill will negatively affect is creepy perverts who throw on a dress so they can go and masturbate in the girls' locker room. But then again, progressives are trying to redefine pedophilia as an alternative sexual preference, so it's no surprise they're so angry. And guess what? One of the leaders of the opposition to this bill is a convicted sex offender. Imagine my shock. Look, you can identify as Barney the Purple Dinosaur for all I care, but I'm going to say it. Yes, I know it's a hate crime. There are only two genders. Rachel Dolezal can identify as African American, but she's white as mayo on Wonder Bread. You can identify as a woman. You can live as a woman. I don't care. But your chromosomes are never going to change. That's science, bitches! And look, it's not like the only people who are concerned about this are, you know, right-wing bigots. Teenage girls at a school in Jefferson County staged a walkout because they were uncomfortable with a biological male entering their bathroom. We're already seeing these transgender bathroom laws being abused by perverts. Just a couple of months ago, a man who, quote, made no verbal or physical attempt to identify as a woman walked into a female bathroom in Seattle and began to undress. The law has changed and I have a right to be here, said the hairy creep as he removed his clothing. Female students at a school in Colorado were threatened with hate crimes charges for complaining about being harassed by a man in the girls' changing room. Pedophiles and perverts are already abusing these new rules. Would you feel comfortable knowing that this guy could walk into the same public bathroom as your eight-year-old daughter. Oh, and he also identifies as a six-year-old girl, by the way. Would you feel comfortable with him hanging around the playground? Well, I um, have a mummy and daddy, a, a adopted mummy and daddy, who are totally comfortable with me being a little girl. But he identifies as a child. So your discrimination is hate speech. North Carolina Lieutenant Governor Dan Forrest said he received, quote, multiple calls from women who had been sexually abused in a bathroom and were traumatized at the prospect of men being allowed in. So where are the rape culture obsessed feminists to defend the safety of women? Oh, that's right. They don't actually care about women being raped unless the perpetrator is a white cisgendered male. Former Beatle Ringo Starr cancelled a gig in North Carolina to protest against the bathroom bill. And he's a giant fucking hypocrite. If Ringo Starr is so concerned about LGBT rights, why did he play a gig in Russia where being homosexual is described as a mental illness and gay people are arrested for protesting. Brian Adams also cancelled a gig in Mississippi to protest against a bill there that would allow people with religious objections to deny wedding services to same-sex couples. If Brian Adams is so worried about the treatment of people with different sexual orientations, why did he play a gig in Egypt last month a country that locks up gay people for as much as 12 years. These performers are, of course, perfectly within their rights to withhold services based on their moral beliefs. If only Christian bakeries were afforded that same right. PayPal protested against the bill by pulling the plug on an operation center in North Carolina that would have employed 400 people. Quote, the new law perpetuates discrimination and it violates the values and principles that are at the core of PayPal's mission and culture, said PayPal CEO Dan Shulman. Really? That's funny, Dan. Because those same values and principles haven't gotten in the way of you doing business in Saudi Arabia, a country that beheads homosexuals. Coca-Cola, Starbucks, Microsoft, Google, and numerous other companies signed a letter decrying the North Carolina bill. Yet their deep concern for LGBT rights just seems to disappear when it comes to doing business in Q8, where cross-dressing and gay sex 
is punishable by 10 years in prison. CNS News asked all these companies why they opposed the North Carolina bill while simultaneously conducting business with countries that lock up and execute transgenders and gay people. They got no response. This transgender bathroom controversy has nothing to do with human rights. It's yet another example about how out of control virtue signalling and political correctness is putting people's privacy and their personal safety at risk. Like obese people who want doors and airplane seats widened. You can't demand that the rest of society completely changes to accommodate your fringe lifestyle choice and then cry, oppression when it refuses to do so.